Hey everybody, my name is John Foster and I'm gonna to talk to you today about paradiddles. When I'm talking about paradiddles, I'm talking about a combination of sticking. So it's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. This is your basic paradiddle. Now something you can do to challenge yourself is throw in accents and displace them throughout. So if we think of it as four sixteenth notes on your right side, and then four sixteenth notes on your left side. We're gonna take an accent and we're gonna accent the first sixteenth note on each side, then the second sixteenth note, the third sixteenth note, and the fourth sixteenth note. The fourth one gets particularly tricky because you're essentially doing a double stroke roll but you're accenting the second stroke. Let's demonstrate accenting the first sixteenth note. Now let's try pushing that accent by one sixteenth note. So we're gonna accent the second sixteenth note. Okay, so let's count out loud. We're at 50 BPM, super slow. It's best for you to internalize these accents. One, two, three, four. 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 Now let's try the different combinations of two accents. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can also accent the first and third, second and fourth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here we go. We're gonna do all the different versions of one accent and two accents displaced throughout each side. And I'm gonna do it twice as fast as I just showed you. The thing about paradiddles is when you're messing around on the drums, when you're coming up with your own fills and everything, they're really handy because those subtle double strokes come in super helpful when you're transitioning from one tom to another or you're playing a snare in between. Okay, now let's improvise on the practice pad using the different accents that we just learned. We're gonna make sure that we're always playing the paradiddle right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. That's never gonna change. I may have lost my way a little bit at the end, but you get the idea. You try to give yourself some sort of parameter and then you stick to it. Let's try improvising at 50 BPM using the different accents that we just learned, but we're gonna make sure that we're keeping the paradiddle sticking of right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Something else that you can do is you can take, you know, certain sight reading books that are in 4-4 and you can just play paradiddles. You're accenting wherever there is a note being placed. For example, let's say we've got quarter note, quarter note, two eighth notes, eighth rest, eighth note. That would sound like this. But now we're gonna play it within our paradiddle, keeping our paradiddle sticking unified, but just adding these accents in. Let's try another combination. Let's do two eighth notes, quarter rest, quarter rest, two eighth notes. You get the idea. You can take any rhythm that you want, any combination. It could be one bar, two bars, four bars, an entire page 
of rhythms that you're practicing sight reading, just try to maintain the paradiddle sticking. Another thing that you can practice to challenge yourself is playing paradiddles over the bar line. What that means is we're gonna be playing triplets, which are usually in groups of three, but we're keeping our paradiddle sticking consistent throughout. So it's gonna transition through the bar line. We're gonna be playing 12 triplets per bar. We're gonna group them in fours, so it'll resolve after two bars. So basically, it's gonna go over the bar line in the sense that you're gonna start on your right hand. You're gonna play paradiddle on the right, paradiddle on the left, paradiddle on the right, followed by paradiddle on the left, paradiddle on the right, paradiddle on the left. Now, if you really wanna challenge yourself, you can try those things that we did with the accents, maintaining this paradiddle on top of a triplet feel. So let's try moving around those single accents being displaced, two accents being displaced throughout the paradiddle. You get the point, it's a good challenge. Let me try that last one again. So I'm doing the, accenting the first and the last on each side. So as you can see, these are some really great ways to practice paradiddles. Something that's a little beyond just a speed challenge. It's more of challenging your mind and challenging your hands all at the same time. So to reiterate, we're playing paradiddles. And we're accenting. Moving it around. Then playing triplets. 